Hey guys, welcome back to another Coding Flamingo video. In this video, we're gonna connect an Azure IoT simulated device to Azure IoT, and we're gonna be using X509 certificates, but we're not gonna be really following the Microsoft guide. Uh, they use self-signed certificates and all this stuff that you have to do, and then you finish all that, and then you actually have to figure out how to do it securely for production. So we're actually just gonna use EZCA which is a perfect transition to tell you that this video is brought to you by ECCA, a product from Ketos, a company I helped create. So full disclosure, I have interested in it, but also our whole thing is making PKI services and identity services easy to use. So you'll see how all these tabs that I had to open to create it in Windows, you'll be able to do it in like five minutes by just using EZCA. So first thing we have to do is create our CA. I already created the CA, it's just like a few clicks, it takes like three minutes. I'm gonna link the video down below of where I go and create those. I actually did it for the Keto channel since I also do the videos there. So you get to hear my voice there as well if you want. A little less uh, joke since it's a company video <laughs> instead of just my hobby YouTube channel. But um, yeah, so I'm gonna link that down below. And once you have that, you have to go to Azure IoT, add the certificates in here. So you just go ahead and add it, select the file, the certificate name, and you set it as uh, status verified since you already know that you can create certificates from it. Once that's done, you have to go to our GitHub where I have the Azure IoT sample downloaded and open it in VS Code. And uh, make sure you're using WSL. The reason for that is uh, Windows has a problem with certificates that are not stored in the certificate store. And since we're emulating an IoT device, you shouldn't be storing something in the Windows store since you're not, hopefully you're not running your IoT devices on Windows. Other than that, uh, you have the code here that I gracefully created for you. It's fairly straightforward. I'm just creating an EZCA manager that I created here that has the getting the token from Azure and all that stuff. In here, I do, do, do interactively since you are a human and stuff. In production, you would have to change this to be cert-based or something. And then in here, I, I just have like a few functions, get available CAAs, request certificate, and register domain. So if we go back to the main program, we're getting the CAAs, and then we do an input to see which CA you wanna use if you have more than one. Then we create a new random device ID to simulate the device we tell you to register it in Azure. And this is something that obviously doesn't scale for production. This is just to connect it, but subscribe because the next video we do, it's gonna be about actually doing device registration automatically to Azure. So it'll do it like if you're in a factory and you, you just go in and register the devices. So make sure to not miss that video. And then we register the domain in EZCA, which basically re registers the device in EZCA so you could create certificates then we create a certificate from EZCA. And as you can see, it's a few lines of code. And then after that, I, in here, it's my IoT hub. You would have to change this to your actual name. And then in here, we just check that the device client was created. And then in here, I copied this from one of the docs from Microsoft. And we just send a few messages to just to make sure that we can actually send messages and receive them in IoT hub. So that's basically it. That's kind of like the rundown. So now let's just run it and and see what happens. So let's just press F5. And then here we're gonna go to the terminal. And as you can see, it's going, getting the token from Azure and getting your CAs. And here, as you can see, I have three different CAs. The one that I registered in Azure is the first one. So I'm just gonna press zero, click enter. And now it's giving me the device ID. So this is the one that right now is manual. Gotta go to Azure, go to devices, we gotta add a device, so I'm gonna paste the ID. And in here I have to do a X509 CA sign since we're doing a trusted CA and we're gonna click save. So that kind of registers it in Azure. We can see it here. And then in here, just to see the messages, I'm actually gonna open the Azure hub and I'm gonna refresh my devices. And as you can see here, the device appeared. So I can go here and start monitoring for built-in events. And as you can see, now it's listening for that same device. So I'm ready to keep going. So I'm gonna press enter. And now it started sending the devices. And if we go to Azure, we can see that it received the messages. So that's how you connect an IoT device to Azure in a few minutes. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.